Hello all, welcome to the 10th tutorial on learning PIC microcontrollers using MPLAB X and X8 compiler. In this tutorial, we will learn how to generate PWM signals and convert them into um, analog signals so that uh, we can use a PIC microcontroller which does not have a DAC, we can generate analog voltages using it. And there are also other applications for PWM which we will be covering in the next tutorial. So this is what I'm showing you here is the previous tutorials that we have covered so far. So we started from installing MPLAB X and we went all the way up to using LCD, using seven segment displays, using ADCs, using timers and you can check out whichever tutorial you're interested in. So now let's get into the programming part. So this program part will be completely explained in the tutorial itself. I'll be providing the description for the tutorial in this uh, video. Now um, so in order to use this tutorial you have to learn ADC beforehand so if you have not yet learned ADC please go ahead and learn it because most of the code part over here uses ADC what I have done here is we have used a potentiometer whose value will be read using an ADC and based on that value we will create a PWM signal so as explained PWM signal will have duty cycle and frequency here we have a fixed frequency duty a fixed frequency PWM signal with a variable duty cycle so this is the program part which will be explained in the article itself the link for it will be provided in the description again now let's get into the schematics the schematics is also provided as an attachment in the article so if you want to use the schematics you can go ahead and use it let's wait for the software to open now this is the schematics as I told you earlier we have a potentiometer over here whose value will be read using an ADC and then we have an oscilloscope and an RC filter so this RC filter will convert our PWM signals into a analog voltage now the program for it is already explained in the article so I have I have loaded the hex file into this PIC microcontroller now let's go ahead and simulate it Once it is simulated, you will get a digital oscilloscope pop-up window using which you can verify the PWM signals generated by your PIC microcontroller. So here we have a digital potentiometer. Now as you can see, I am varying the potentiometer here. Now since the potentiometer is at 100 percentage, yeah, this should be perfect. Since it is at 100 percentage, the duty cycle is also at 100 percentage. And if I bring it down, you can see the PWM is getting varied the on time gradually reduces the on time over here gradually reduces now let me keep it at 50 percentage so for 50 percentage we have 50 percentage of the on time and 50 percentage of time now let's reduce it all the way to zero as you can see as i reduce it the pwm will also the on time of the pwm will also get reduced and apart from that we can also verify it using the analog voltage over here so for zero volt the analog voltage will be zero let me out zoom as you can see based on the duty cycle the analog voltage will also get varied so for 50 percent is duty cycle again for 50 percent is duty cycle again we have 1.26 volt and as we go higher the voltage will also get increased and we also have an LED over here which is blinking because um, this simulator has some problem with the RC network but for the same value of RC network in the hardware we can observe that the LEDs, LED get dimmed and get bright again so uh, for very low duty cycle the LED will be very dim and as the duty cycle increases the LED will also get brightened. Now let's close the simulation part and open the hardware part. So I have the hardware already done and uh, it's working already. The so working of it will again be explained in the article. Now, as you can see, uh, we have been using this perf board for a very long time for all our tutorials. And there's a small add-on board over here, which has an RC network, nothing but a resistor and a capacitor along with an LED as shown in the simulation. So the, uh, I do not have an oscilloscope to show you the actual PWM signal, but we can verify it using the voltmeter over here and the LED over here. So as shown in the simulation, the LED should 
where its intensity based on the pwm signal and the voltmeter should show a variable voltage now let me turn the circuit on so now the circuit is on let's check the voltage as you can see the voltage is now 0.59 maybe i can turn on the backlight okay it's 0.6 and it's oscillating between 0.59 and 0.6 and the led is off now as i increase the potentiometer sorry i'm decreasing it now it has gone to 0.3 now let me increase it so now i have increased it a bit and the voltage has raised to 1.27 and you can also see that the LED has been a bit brighter compared to the previous state. Now let me go ahead and increase it still. Now the PWM has been increased and it has been raised up to 2.5 voltage and the LED has got a bit more brightened. Now let me go all the way up to 3.2 and 4, 4.4 so as i go on increasing the duty cycle you can see the led has attained its full intensity and the voltage has also increased the same way i can also decrease it if required so let me decrease it to say 2.5 uh -oh. yes 2.5 5 yeah so this way you can use a pwm signal to generate an analog voltage of your desired value and also we can use this to uh, vary the intensity of an led based on your requirement so that's all for now thank you